this is it. This is the finale, baby. What? I know I say that every time, but the grand finale, we're never going to talk about the dress again. You know oh. why? You know why? You say that oh. all the time. Because we have the answer. Okay, so obviously, we it's talked about blue. it. Oh. Oh. oh my God. Mm. Your mother and your sister agree with me. How does that make you feel? I don't care at this point. I don't <laughs> <really> <laughs> Welcome back to whatever the hell this is, family style. Yes. <laughs> My mom's the party mascot. She's ready to celebrate. I don't know what we're wearing. This is <laughs> okay. We're basically wearing everything throughout the year that I bought that we never wore because I was like, that's too ugly or too tacky. That and didn't I... fit a theme. Yeah. So I just put us all in all of it, and we're joined by Morgan Adams. Yay. <laughs> Queen telling me this cow sweater didn't make it anywhere. Actually, did you wear that? No, I wore a cloud sweater that had the same fabric. Right, and it was a two for one. It's very milky My fee vibes. for being here is that I'm taking the sweater home <laughs> with me. It's all yours. <laughs> Take a picture of it on your next date. Yeah, I don't know if cows traditionally hang out in desert settings, but <laughs> I think it's cool. I don't know if I've seen cows in the sand next to mountains, but you know, I like it. I don't uh, know that you can well, eat cow while in a cow sweater, how though. How do you think the people in Arizona get their milk? It's a good way to pay it. Did you just yeah, say like cow do the people in Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> that was iconic. Um, and then Vicky. <laughs> who has never been more excited to show up wearing anything. You're in our pinata costume that I, I think I bought that for Jared. Nice. I'm glad that you were <laughs> ended up wearing right? it, Vicky. Oh, I saved you. Her costume and her looks really <laughs> coming together. She can't get over the Versace shoes. Wow. wow. And you know what I realized? I'm utilizing the Versace wine glass oh, for the I first time ever as well. Donatella Versace is going to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is going to be a disaster. A mess. Yes, but you know what? We're going to have so I much fun. Have. Yes. We before have... we get to everything, oh my God, we have a game. We have a new song from Fiverr. Ooh. And we have some food uh, combinations. But before we get to that, I want to bring something up because I feel like it's going to happen throughout the show. And I want to explain. Morgan, can you explain to us last night, you threw out a little Gen Z slang. Oh. Everyone's going to know what it is except for all of these people that were sitting here and they had no clue. Because we're yes. old. Chris, you're not old. I'm old. He's old. I'm old. <laughs> I'm old. He's a youthful glow to him. Him, you know, mm -hmm. the rest of you guys, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so oh. how did this come up? Wow, I like how that went. I will what? throw out the term in a casual way. Shane looks very youth pastor coded. <laughs> what did you just say? I have no idea what the fuck you just said. Oh, yes. Coded, it's like, uh -huh. okay. Anything that you could look at, you could like relate it to someone okay. else, you know? So if we looked at Ryland, like if you saw a, a dude walking around in a wig on the street, you'd be like, that's Ryland coded. C-O-D-E-D. -E -D. And Ryland thought it was coded. <laughs> Like paint. Like I did too. I, I thought it That's was C O A T E D. The way she, and that makes sense to me because she threw it out there last night. I was trying to understand, so I like tried to use it in a sentence. And I was like, <laughs> like a paint coat because it's yeah. like, it's painted well, was, in. No, I think it's like computer code. I was thinking I, it was yes, computer code. Like the blueprint. Yeah. Like I the thought blue. it was, I feel like ours is kind of like the evolution of drip. You know, like you're not dripping, you're coated. The other one is very like, it's nerdy to me, you know? Like, yeah, you co you're coated, you do, know? Like, do people still say drip? No. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying, you know? Like, uh, uh -huh. so... drip is very millennial coated. No way. Yeah. <laughs> ouch, ouch. Wow. Yikes. Okay. Like, what about dope? Has dope made a resurgence in popular culture? I think people still go for that. <gasps> really? Nice. I'm no. not sure. That's not personally my word, but I, I hear it happen. So are you embracing your your Gen Z self? Because last time we talked about generations, you said you were a zillennial. I want to be as young as I possibly can for as long as I can milk it. Ooh. <laughs> Very Gen Z. Very Gen Z. What, what's a zillennial? Is that a midway? <laughs> you made that up. Oh, is it like a halfway? That's very me coded to yeah. make up a word that doesn't make any sense and just go with it and pretend that it's a thing. <laughs> You're welcome. So feel free to use it throughout the show. If anything seems coded to you. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like you look like something. You're copying something. Like you were something. created from. So, okay. So the for DNA you, of something. Yeah, yes, yes. Yes, the code. I, oh. Okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah. So what Very is, simulation. What is Chris? A solid core memory that I have every time of, I think of Chris is that he doesn't eat a Chick-fil-A. So oh. if someone didn't want to eat a Chick-fil-A, you'd be like, oh, that's Chris coded for sure. Like, oh. oh, that's something Chris coded. Oh. 
well, really quick, I'm about to get Mr. Beast coded. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Here comes another Mr. Rosanna. <laughs> we have another giveaway. Nice. Woo. Well, actually, that's the opposite of Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> wah, wah. Now I feel bad because last time we gave away Apple headphones. <laughs> we gave away a cup. But I thought it would be fun if we all signed the Conspiracy Club cup. So we all signed it today. So if you want this, head on over to the Instagram and uh, like the post and give it a comment and uh, follow. Dang. I'm going to enter the giveaway. Yeah. Okay, well, now we're about to get game show coded. I'm never going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. It's over. Very Pat Sajak coded. Is that a game show host? Yeah, that was Dude, I'm <laughs> bad. I'm, so no, that's like a boomer, not. fucking boomer trying to do it. No, that's very boomer coded. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. That is very bad. boomer coded. Um, okay, our game show. This is very exciting. So we have a game show. I'm calling it Sibling Battle. And Chris, this is your first time doing this. Chris is going to be hosting the game show. The I'm pressure. In it. It's pressure. <laughs> okay, so here's how it's going to go. And Vicky is going to be taking the points. She's going to be tracking the points. And she's going to be doing the tiebreaker question. Ooh. If it comes down to that, which is very hard. So here's how the game is going to work. So we have given me, Jared, Morgan, and Ryland dry erase boards. And the siblings are going to battle. But here's how it's going to work. So we're going to have team older and team younger. So we have a list of questions. Ooh, team younger. That's cute. <laughs> um, we have a list of questions. And Chris is going to be asking the older people a question. So, for example, the elderly. you know, uh, what's what is your sibling's favorite color? So, I would write down what my favorite color is. Jared writes down what he thinks my answer is. Okay. And then we see if we match. So we've done this before. So you and Jared are technically on a team. Yes. So Morgan and I want to get the correct yes. answers about each other so we can win points, yes. so we can win the grand prize, which is? Okay, so I was thinking about There's that. a prize? There's gotta be. Okay, so I was thinking if about there's that. there's not, I'm not playing. I don't have <laughs> prizes per se. Oh. But mm. I do have punishments though. So these are incentives. Mm. So we want to win, right? Because if you lose, you have two options for punishments. Are you oh, ready for them? Jesus. Yes. Okay. First option. I saw this on Instagram and very <laughs> millennial coded. <laughs> I saw this on my Was it a reel? I saw this on reels. <laughs> Where, the I way know? you said real? <laughs> Is that how young people see reels? <laughs> yes. No way. I watch everything on reels. So I saw this and I couldn't believe this was real. And no offense, by the way, if this is like something people need, but just watch. Huh? What? <laughs> I can't even. What? I can't even ah! Oh, can't to it. put contacts. Kind of genius. So these are oh. Eye, so these are eye openers. <laughs> <laughs> Very eye opening. Wow. Um, so that wow. is You'll punishment. See the truth with those. Things. Oh, those I can't. Terrifying Ew. to look at. So that is punishment number one. Ew. Punishment number two is actually I got this voicemail. Let's take a listen. Hey y'all, you got to try Black Death from the UK and do it during one of your podcasts. That'll be so awesome to see. Wait. All right. Bye, y'all. can call you? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, relax, boomer coded. <laughs> you have your number uh, online? Uh, yeah, yes, <laughs> that was a direct voicemail yeah. to me. Um, <laughs> so it's called Black Death. It's like, you heard right. Right. You heard so, it right. So here we go. Uh, I looked it up, and this is what we're in for. This is called Black Death. Death. It is the most sourest candy in the world. One ink, not suitable for anyone under eight years of age. Let's give them a go. This is how they look, guys. She has that beautiful so teeth. Scary. I know. What does it look like? It's made out of gloss. Very and clear skin. Yeah, yeah. 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 Your nails are great. Gorgeous. I very, love this woman. Very good gloss. What is it? <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't know if I fully believe this. What? Right. What is it? Spit yeah. it out, girl. <laughs> I think I saw some of those in the kitchen. Yeah. So this, that's what Black Death is. What constitutes a punishment? Whoever loses. Each round? The, the whole game. game. And then oh. you get to choose your punishment. Oh, thank God. So you can either do Black Death candies oh, he or has one deck. the opener. Hey, sorry to interrupt the show, but please don't leave. Don't skip this ad because it's not really an ad. It's kind of an ad. It's an ad, but it's not. What? <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm just going to get into it. I'm so excited because after... I don't know how many years. The pig is finally back! 
Okay, so I went through a whole journey, let me explain. So obviously in 2019, we did the conspiracy palette and we did my merch shop, like we opened it and all that stuff. And the logo that was created by this incredible artist named Davis, he was in the Jeffrey series, if you remember. So he created the pig logo and I was so obsessed with it. I was like, I want that to be my thing, like the pig with the dead eyes. That sounds really fucked up when I say it like that. So I wanted to bring it back and I wanted to do it different. So literally like a month ago, two months ago, I took out Photoshop because I was just gonna bring back the pig in some way, but I was like, no, I wanna like design something new. So I took the pig in Photoshop and I was playing around with it and I had this idea of like a spray painted pig. I don't know why, <laughs> but that was my idea. And I wanted it to be big. Cause like the last time we did the pig, it was little and it was right here and I love it. But I was like, I want it to be big and kind of like Avril Lavigne skater boy. God, I'm old. So yeah, I like took the logo, I added spray paint and I made mock-ups of a bunch of hoodies and shirts and different designs. And this was the first one I did. So this is the black hoodie with the pig spray painted. And then also we did shirts. So I have a brown one which is brown and it's kind of like a gold pig on that. It looks kind of dark in here, but in the sunlight, it's very like bright brown. And then we have a purple shirt with a purple pig. And then this next one is bold, but this was one I was very excited about making, even though I feel like maybe nobody will buy this one, but it's like a brown tie dye and a lime hot yellow green chartreuse pig. And down the sleeves, it has the SD uh, cosmetic logos, if you remember those. Those were what we put like in the pressings on the conspiracy palette and like on the actual palette. I don't know, I love it. So I'm gonna wear it. Hopefully you guys like it too, or maybe it's ugly and you'll hate it. Sorry. I showed Rylan and he literally went, oh, <laughs> that's, that's a choice. So if you wanna check out the merch, I would love if you checked it out, go to shanedawsonmerch.com. Uh, I'm pretty sure the farmer code still works. So code farmer for 10% off. Also, we still have the grower and farmer merch. So if you wanna get a grower and farmer hoodie for you and your man or woman or both or they, listen, everybody can have a small dick. What? Not small, growing, okay. Discount, okay. Hey, it's Shane in the future. Sorry, I'm popping in to say something really quick. We're actually having a sale right now on the merch. So for all the new merch, the purple shirt, the hoodies I showed, all of those will be 25% off. And then for all the older merch, like the grower and farmer hoodies and pretty much everything else on the website, it will be buy one, get one free. And with every purchase, they will give you a free gift. So hopefully you enjoy it, check it out. And okay, I'm gonna go. That sale ends December 1st. <laughs> Is there a name for this game? Or have you prepared? Sibling like, Battle. Uh, Wait, I, I should have got a theme song for it. Welcome to Sibling Battle. Welcome to Sibling Battle. Today we have Team Adams versus Team Yaw. Should we just get into it? Wait, what else would you do? Yeah, dude, that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's yeah, exciting. Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, let's start with the first question. This is to the younger siblings. So young people listen me. up. And me. Old Look people. Look how it's already making a lot of years. sense why you said all that, dude. Like hard. All right? <laughs> young people. Who got in the most trouble as a teenager? So wait, am I writing down an answer too? Are you're, you young? You're writing down the right answer and I'm trying to guess. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Just kidding. So we're both writing the answer. Yes. Okay. Okay, don't show it yet. Chris, you, you say what team you want to, to show first. Um, let's do Team Adams first. Ooh. All right, three. Two, one. <laughs> Look at that! You guys win. We got a point. Nice. Oh, right. I was a really good kid because I just wanted to go along to get along. Ryan played the game. I did not. And my other reason behind this is that mom would never get mad at her precious Ryland. Oh. Uh, Wait. Oh. What, did, what did you do to get in trouble? S silly stuff. Oh. Like what? <laughs> but I feel like I would get. I got in trouble for eating too much peanut butter. <gasps> Me too. Crazy <laughs> stuff. Wait, <laughs> what? Things that didn't really make that much sense. Uh oh. Yeah. Ooh. There Yikes. was this one time I convinced a bunch of people to TP this girl's house because she kissed my boyfriend, my gay boyfriend that oh. I didn't know was gay. That is our audience. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Dude, this is Every, so layered. Everyone that listens Keep to this going. is currently dating someone they don't know is gay. Yeah. Wait, wait, rewind anyway. me real quick. Okay, refresh. <laughs> Who is this person again? What's this happening? This girl kissed my gay boyfriend that I didn't know was gay at the time, so I was really mad. So I conspired all these people to TP her house, <gasps> and the next day I woke up and her dad was in our dining room. <gasps> ready to Whoa. confront me and he did and wow. i got in trouble then wow. well that sounds kind of serious yeah mean girls <laughs> coded I'm I'm just kidding. Kidding. <laughs> I'm just you know what i regret it but also she kissed my boyfriend so yeah no Stupid that's awful bitch. she turned him gay <laughs> he told me i turned him gay <gasps> What? Uh, dude, it How? keeps giving. You're literally one of the most beautiful <laughs> no, people ever. That's but crazy. But he, he said that he didn't know he was gay until we kissed. Does that mean I turned oh, him Oh, no, no, no. It's still not there a good, was already not electricity. A good place to be. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just, okay. Just okay. okay, ready? And answers. Me. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah, Jared's is a oh, little yeah. less uh, silly. <laughs> 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 You know, depending on how... It'll be silly in a couple years, I guess. Your Crashed answer, a couple cars. Is Jared allowed to change? <laughs> Crashed a couple cars? He's talked about it. You know, yeah. Jared was definitely more of like a, a <laughs> bad boy energy. Um, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, drinking, partying. And I, I didn't really do anything. Sadly. You hung out with your mom? Yeah. We got into trouble, though. <laughs> <laughs> Stayed up too late watching Very Norman-based code. <laughs> Painted the town red. <laughs> we did. Good one job. to one so far. Everybody. Dang. Question number two. This is to the older siblings. Ooh. Who is the most likely to get kicked out of a restaurant? Ancient old people. Ooh. Who is the most likely to get kicked, kicked out, of, out a of a restaurant? Who's revealing first? Um, let's do team uh, at Yaw first. I went with me. Yes, dude. I agree. We're killing it. I, I don't even feel like per like it's not even offensive. What's a team, y'all? Well, let's have a scenario in which he would get I have kicked one. out. Okay. Now, listen, the reason I said you was because you are very opinionated. You have said on the podcast before that if you go through McDonald's and your fries are cold, you'll go right back through and say, heat these up. Oh, yeah. So I feel <laughs> like... <laughs> Hey, with inflation these days, if I'm paying $30 for some fries, they better be delicious. I agree. Or at least hot. I agree. Something happened last time you were here with Sandy that has stuck in my mind. It's, it's like, like a it's... core memory for both of us at this point. I love like, it. We can't it's stop so thinking good. about it. I love okay. it without hearing it. Okay. So you, so we had just eaten <laughs> a lot of stuff, right? And you stood up next to everybody and you were like holding your stomach. You're like, oh, God, I got a fart. I got a fart. And Sandy's sitting there and I was like, I wonder if Sandy's like embarrassed by this. And then Sandy turns to you and goes, do some leg kicks. What? <laughs> and then Sandy <laughs> You started like, kicking your leg like a donkey, and then Sandy was like, "Higher, higher!" And then, and then she started like helping you. She got, she got up in there like a physical therapist, and she's like, "Higher, Chad!" No, like this, Jared. It was, it was true love, oh Cody. And I think it's like a core memory of mine for the rest of. Her. <laughs> I'm glad to be involved. It was oh, really yeah. good. It was really yeah. well. Rylan has his um, fart pose too. I he do. does. He does. I don't help him with it. But, <laughs> but maybe we'll get there. I should be. Like help push it forward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, team Adams, same question on the count of three. One, two, three. Wow. I'm a little Karen esque, you know. Like Morgan's a, a good little. time. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan's a go with the flow, good time. I'm a little like one thing could bother me too much and I'll probably yeah. propel myself out of the restaurant before they can even kick me out. You should see his road rage and I'm like, you just Ooh. gotta cool it sometimes. It's bad. It's bad. Wow. And he provokes, he'll do something wrong and scream at the other person Only the if car. they're doing something wild, like going 15 miles under the speed <laughs> I had to physically take his hand off the wheel because he was honking at a school bus for being stopped. <laughs> that school bus needed to Very be checked. Very Karen-coded. <laughs> Karen-coded, that's a good body. Some yeah. of my favorite comments are always like, like, wow, Ryan's a real Karen. I'm like, well, at least I'm honest about it. Wow, we both got points. He's going oh, well. Two. Yeah. We're two for two. Hmm. Okay, so this question is for the young, uh, the younger siblings. Yay. Yay. If you could have your siblings blank, what would it be? Uh, and this is something like hair, height, uh, maybe you think they have better skin, something like that. So this is Ouch. something Morgan answered that <laughs> I would say. What do I want that you have? Yeah, what do I want of Jared's? Mm -hmm. Mine was so easy, I got it right away. Well, it's mine. Yeah, <laughs> my answer, but just something you wish you had. <laughs> nice. Yes, but I knew something right away. Oh, this is a tough one, I feel. I feel like um, this is like walking into a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Very Morgan coded. Anything I say is Yikes. like. Uh, hmm. What do I have that well, you want? You can think outside of the box. It like doesn't what? have to be physical. No. But it is. It does not have to be. Mm. But it is. Wait. Oh. No hint. That's a hint. Wait. You're you're making me think now. You're making me I think. Now. I kind of gave you a hint too. Oh no. No. Uh. It doesn't have to be <laughs> physical. Okay. All right, so I right. say let's just keep switching and let's do Team Adams first this time. All right, ready? On the count of three. Two, One, two, oh. three. Oh, I could have never written that. Please. I could have never written wow. that. Wow. 
you this guys. is a bad idea. This <laughs> guy I told up. you. I think both would be accurate because I do. T- well, people ask me all the time, and I say my brother is naturally skinny and uh, naturally has clear skin, and it just about well, drives me up a wall. The only me reason, too. but now we lost a point. So you this did. sucks. You lost, you lost a point. point. Okay. Damn. Okay. Technically, okay, okay, you damn, weren't. Damn. Wrong. I feel like. I ah. Okay. okay. We ready? The, right. I, 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 this one stumped me. To be very honest with you, so team, you said to think outside of the box. Okay. I'm thinking, what do I got? Oh, God. And I thought, dude, my lobster. Maybe you want my lobster. What? <laughs> Larry, maybe, I don't know, you were giving me like weird vibes. Like, maybe it's something I have that I talk about, you know? Okay, I put confidence. Oh, <laughs> well, I had the confidence to put a lobster. True, true. Half a we point? should get a half a point. No. Um, no, so. Jared is very naturally confident. He never like cares about what people think of him. Like. He just could like, you know, I mean, he was walking around, you know, Sandy lifting his leg to fart. Like, I yeah. do that. And I envy that a lot. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, the lobster thing. I don't know about that. <laughs> I didn't know you had a lobster. It's great like, answers all around. Everyone is wrong. No Everyone. one got a point. Yes. But, <laughs> but good answers. Okay. Ooh, fun. All right. Mm. So this question is to Shane and Morgan. The youngies. The girls. <laughs> Shane and Morgan, what is your siblings' most embarrassing memory from growing up? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Are we all ready to flip? Yep. Okay, cool. team Yaw yeah, first. Oh. oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, I hope you remember. Okay, I think I think in this sense, you just say it, and then we'll see if I match you. Yeah. My most embarrassing moment was peeing my pants in a restaurant. Fuck, why didn't I remember that? <laughs> I thought it was being called a lady. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> Or is that my last I thought it, no, that, 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 that was that was, that's a good one. That, that, that's a good one. That was when me it. and mom were sharing ice cream cones, and the woman walked past and said, "You ladies having fun?" <laughs> and I I laughed so hard I peed my pants. You don't give lady energy. I oh, can't. I don't. Thank you. <laughs> it was based off looks. <laughs> that's why it was embarrassing. When I was thirteen, I was giving Rosie O'Donnell energy. Ooh. You, know, oh, you probably don't know who I that is. Like I heard she's very successful. <laughs> Yes. Thank you. Okay. Where is Rosie? She's she, on TikTok. She, TikTok, she, you don't stop. She's in Malibu. <laughs> <and everything. laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. Three. Okay. Oh. Yeah. No, go ahead. <laughs> Two. One. When my best friend came out as gay. When my boyfriend. boyfriend. <laughs> what? Her best friend? She's only been talking about it the whole time, Ryan. <laughs> I don't think I was around for your boyfriend coming Let's out as gay. Well, yes, no, you sure. were because we all went hiking and you said, you know, your boyfriend's gay, right? Wait, and I oh, said, man. what? Oh. Which one? Wow, that's Trump Marcus. Talking. Oh, right. That was embarrassing. A shitting in the litter box, I stand behind that, that I didn't have enough. <laughs> yeah, you know, that was empowering. It's more yeah. demoralizing yeah. than embarrassing. That's a huge moment for people. I'm not demoralized. So how many gay boyfriends have you had? <laughs> Two. <laughs> uh, so this question is uh, yeah. Ry- <laughs> Ryland and Jared. Okay. What is something your sibling cannot live without? What can I not live without? I'm wondering if this is the most accurate. I'm just thinking, you're high maintenance. <laughs> it could be a lot. I know. <laughs> it really could be. This is a tough one. I know. I okay. I think that's good. I think I did my best to make this possible. Okay. Don't say your lobster. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Your lobster okay. Again. Fuck. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're in bad shape here. We're in bad shape here. Okay. okay so what did you think I said? I said your car. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I said popcorn and peanut butter. What? <laughs> I've like never seen you eat that thing ever. I've never seen you eat that. Which is actually my code nickname for my dogs because it's uh, it, it's my dog. I did say your dogs. No, you Shit. didn't. You didn't write it down. Okay, we did these answers before the show, so yeah, there's like a list of answers, and I it. isn't the answer there? I was just it thinking though. It says that you put dog. dogs. Okay, so I'm right. No. <laughs> I fucked up. I forgot. No, 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 no. Take back. Dang. Yeah. Three, two. Oh shit! You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it has to happen twice in the day at 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Yes. He's going to get a headache Power. and then we're all going to regret you it. Told it. You mm-hmm. tell her about that? Everyone knows about Everyone that. Everyone knows. Wow. It's like if I don't have my second dose in the right amount of window, I get a headache and then nobody can be around me. So it's that like, is very it literally much so. is. I'm like dependent. Twice wow. a day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we got the point. So ADHD. what are we at, point master? You guys are three. We're at two. We're winning. Okay, we have That's one. Great. We only have I one mean, more left. So kind this of is big. Winning. So we got to pull together for the last question so yeah. we can be back in the race. This is the finale. The question is, which one of you annoyed your parents more growing up? Ooh. Who which annoyed one? their parents more? I mean, We're seeing in real life, possibly, between the two of you. I know. This is, we have a parent here. We have a cheat code. Okay. Boomer code. 
Good job, Vicky. Good job. That was red. That was your first code of the day, night. Hell yeah, the E's kicking we're in. We're totally <laughs> back in the race. All right. I think we're about to win. Adam first. All right. I think they're gonna get it. Ooh, Woo! that's it. <laughs> And okay. that would be correct. Wow. <laughs> Why did you annoy your parents? Yeah. Because Fuck. she would take cereal bowls up to her room and leave them there for three weeks to no. mold. No. <laughs> she still does okay. that. Does. Okay. Ready? <laughs> yes. Me. Sure. Yes, we win. Oh. We won. That's not really fair. We killed it. Boom. What? That was such oh. an easy question. Oh. Your last one was like on a technicality. Oh. Yeah. Well, what are the points at right now? Four to three. Oh, so we won. We don't no, you didn't. <laughs> I you wrote his car. I, I wrote Woods, the Give cheaters. us the tiebreaker. A tiebreaker? Yeah. Okay. This question is. Into your mic, oh. mom. <laughs> this That's question. very boomer coded. <laughs> <laughs> this is for everyone. Okay. Okay. What was your best shared childhood memory? Okay. Oh. Sending what? this to you telepathically. At what age? Yeah, we it, were seven had... years apart. That like doesn't count. Well, for you guys, it could be any memory. I can think of something for you too. I can't believe you can't think of something. Well, I'm trying to think of one that she would think of. That's the hard part. I, make I think answer. Morgan might say this. Okay, I think, okay, I, I'm as far as long as I can get. Let's do it. Okay. All right, let's go. <sighs> okay, you guys first. Us first? Yes. Okay. Three, two. Oh, damn. Oh. You always Texas talk about how much you fun. like Texas. I put throwing a dart at the map when we went to Seattle, and we actually did throw the dart at the map. We didn't even rig it. It that was, was very fun. fun. I, I didn't go, but that was fun for you guys. <laughs> Dang. And he I had paid fun for the alone. whole thing. We stayed at the Waldorf, and I was like, where am I? Oh. Wow. It was great fun. Yeah. So we won either way, but let's oh, we did. Let's show our answers just for fun before we celebrate. Uh, One, two, three. When we went to dinner... I put. Fuck! I was thinking that. Really? When yes, because we, were... we jumped in and threw yes. up immediately. I talked about it recently. Yes. Fuck! Yes. My favorite uh, memory was when we were night swimming, ah. and then we threw uh, water at our uncle's window. We were horrible, and we just kept throwing water at his ah. window, and then he would come out and be like, "What the hell was that?" And then we'd hide in the pool. <laughs> And then we, but yes, there was another time where that we jumped in and it was too cold and we threw up. So yeah. I, that was on the border. What, Th those were nice swimming what did you memories. Guess, Sarah? Yeah, what did you put? <sighs> when we went, I mean, well, I don't know. I guess in looking back, it's probably funnier than your experience at the time. Okay. But uh, when we went out to dinner with Grandpa yes. and, and Grandma Corky, yes. And then we jokingly said that it was your birthday, <laughs> and they came out with a happy birthday. But it was their anniversary dinner, so we were like cramping their style. Yeah. And then you laughed so hard that I you peed your pants. pants. Yeah. And then I spilled my soda on you as like a cover story I know. and grandpa was what? pissed. I know. But that was like one of my favorite ones. I love that. Yeah, but oh. I think yours, I thought about it too. So, yeah. I mean, that's like a, a mental point. Right. And we win. Okay. Yay. Time for the punishment. So, yeah. what do you guys want to do? Do you want to do the, what is it called? Black, Black death. death. Sourest candy <laughs> in the world. Or do you want to do the openers? I'm doing the death magic. Yeah, I kind of want to do that too. I'm going to volunteer. Let's do both at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to volunteer myself to try the magic so I can show some solidarity here. Look at the camera, right? Uh, wait, oh my God, I'm scared. Wait, wait don't hurt yourself. I'm, I'm not, scared. What if your eye flops out? I'm not sure that I'm doing it right. No, you put it in your eye socket. What the Whoa. heck? I'm not going to get a fucking sty from this. <laughs> yeah, no. Then you better get the candy, girl. I want the candy. Wait, I don't want your eye to pop out. Never mind. I hate this. I, I hate it. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I Just don't, eat the candy. I don't think I'm doing it right. Okay, I want still a candy. blank. Okay. Yeah, you're still okay. blanking. So. Yeah. Oh. Already, wait, Jared already put the candy in his mouth. Oh, he always oh, does that. Oh, He's no. never waited for us. No. Do you chew this or suck on it? Suck on, suck on it. Suck on it. Okay. Three, one, two, two three. one. How bad is it? Dude, I have an open sore on the roof of my mouth. Oh, it's like nuts. fucking burning. Wait, we won. Why yeah, you, you didn't even this? have to do it. <laughs> Uh, I thought it was a chewy no. candy and it sounded delicious. Wait for a second, it's gonna get bad. Oh my god! What's it taste like? Oh, dude. Morgan likes it. Oh yeah, she's Maybe chilling. Maybe it hasn't hit me. Yet. It on No, put it in your mouth. <laughs> Morgan said it's good. <laughs> well, I have it in my cheek. Well, but are you cheating? You have to put it on your tongue. You have to chew it. No, no dude, but you suck on. I don't think I have a good sense of taste well, or a good sense now of smell. Now I want to try it. That girl's reaction. Wait, was can over I have one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it made my eyes water, uh, but in a good way. I felt nothing. Hell no, that was rough. It is sour. Thank you. Oh. But it's I, not like crazy. Am I the only one that it made my eyes water? Yeah. No, it made my eyes water. 
Yeah, now oh, the sound no. is gone. <laughs> Here she goes. Maybe it's an older sibling coded thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does, now it's like sweet in my mouth, oh, but it's uncomfortably I big. <laughs> It's kind of yucky. <laughs> it's like when they give a baby I don't think a lemon. You guys put it on your tongues. This is oh, what it's I just get. really sour. Is that I'm all it is? Dealing with them yeah, my whole life. It's just sour. It's not like I'm not in pain. Is it ever gonna be long. chewy? Wait, why did that girl in the car like freak out? For views. She was being <laughs> dramatic. It's just a word. Well, you know what I love about it oh, is. Oh, that was awful. It <laughs> What I love is that there was no punishment because we all love each other and yes. we all had fun. Well, congratulations to your half-assed win. Oh, shots fired. Uh -oh. All right, guys, go. hopefully you enjoyed that game. We're never playing it again. G wow. Good job to Chris for hosting. Oh, yeah, yes. good job, dude. I thought you did good. I see a future for you in, uh... in hosting very complicated yeah. shows. <laughs> I'll, I'll film them. Yeah. I'll do that. Um, all right, we're going to take a quick little break. And when we come back, I don't know what we're going to do because we have so much to do and I don't really know where to start. We have voicemail. Should we do that? Oh, yeah. Okay, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, sorry to interrupt the show, but I want to give some love to our first sponsor of the day, which is Ridge Wallet. Okay, really quick, don't leave. I want to show you something because I just bought my own Ridge. Granted, they will send me wallets if I ask for it, but I saw this on their Instagram and I was like, I don't even want to wait to like email them and be like, can you send me this? I was like, fuck it, I just bought it myself. Oh my God, if you guys know me at all, then you know my new thing is like bright yellow green. Like it's my favorite color ever. I literally have my Apple Watch band. I have a big Starbucks cup. Like I have a lot of green things in my life. And Ridge put out Hyperline. Look at it. It is so beautiful. So I saw this and I was like, add to cart. Okay, anyway, sorry, back to the sponsorship. But yes, Ridge Wallet is my favorite wallet of all time. And they just keep coming out with like really good colors and designs. I don't need 10 wallets, but now I have them. And now I interchange them, which is kind of weird. Like I literally change up my wallet every like two weeks because I'm like, ooh, I want to try orange this week. Like maybe it's a little, actually, yeah, it's a problem. I tend to have an addictive, obsessive personality, probably a disorder, and Ridge is making it worse. Yeah. <laughs> but I love them anyways. So right now, if you want to get your own Ridge Wallet, which you should, they are having a huge holiday sale, the biggest one they have all year. And you can get up to 30% off through December 20th. So it's perfect for Christmas shopping. And these really are the perfect gifts to give because it gives you something to talk about. Like, you know, when you give somebody a present and you're just like, okay, there it is. Okay, bye. This is different because you can give them the Ridge Wallet and then you can explain. Be like, did you know it has RFID blocking technology? Don't know what that is? Let me explain to you. It means that you can walk in public and not have somebody walk by you and steal your identity, which is what they do when you don't have RFID blocking technology and this keeps you safe. And then obviously the wallets are just cute. They come in so many different colors and designs and textures. They can fit up to 12 cards. They have room for cash or a little cash strap. They have different, they have two different versions. They have one where you can do like a little money clip and then they have one where you can do like a cash strap. And for the holidays, you can personalize it with some text or a cute design. I love Ridge Wallet. I use it every single day and I promise whoever you buy this for in your life is going to love it too. So if you want to save up to 30% off through December 20th, go to ridge.com slash grower. And if you use my link, you can enter your email slash SMS for a free chance to win a Ridge bundle worth $4,000. No purchase necessary. So yeah, check out ridge.com slash grower, do some holiday shopping, and send me some pictures of you giving your spouse or your friend or whoever a Ridge wallet, and I want to see the reaction. All right, enjoy the rest of the show. Bye. Um, okay, I have a huge update. So our first viewer interaction update is huge. This is from Shaylee. Hey Shane, I saw Adam Sandler's show in DC last night and he made multiple jokes about how he is a grower. What? Yes, I know. I thought I'd let you know that Adam Sandler is in your guys' grower club. What? And obviously a fan of the podcast. Because <laughs> yes. we've opened Adam the doors, Sandler? we've grown the scene. He is king grower. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, you can tell. You know he is now that it's confirmed. You can definitely. tell by, by how he dresses, his swag, and he wears sweat gray sweatpants a lot. That is bold. That's brave. That's I could a, never. He's brazen. Yeah, come on the show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, he's just a phone call away. Yeah. I wish. Who has My his number, child. though, you know? <laughs> um, this is from Justice, and she said, Hey, Shane, here's a picture of me and my bestie at work. We love the podcast. We never miss an episode. And this is iconic. This is them in the stock room in their grower hoodie. Oh, oh my what? God. Look at that. I love it. 
So thank you guys. That okay. Is very cute. It's amazing. They're so cool. And this next one, this is from Gabby. And she said her and her fiance, Dylan, are huge fans of the podcast. And they did, I don't know if you guys saw this. I put it on Instagram. They did a little photo shoot in their grower and uh, farmer yeah. merch. I did see that. It's Look incredible. At that. Look at that. She's farming her grower. It's so cute. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> the backdrop is amazing. By the way, I just want to say so nobody thinks we're we're copying them. So we're doing a photo shoot soon, uh, like revamping for the podcast. And the idea we have is for the three of us growers to be buried in the ground and Ryland to be holding a watering can in a farmer outfit. So I want to let you guys know, we thought of that before I saw this. I'm not stealing from critics. <laughs> no, I mean, we've been talking about this forever. They're just the first to execute that we've seen. Yeah, and so now wonderful. that I'm seeing it, I even more want to do that for the Is podcast. Yeah, low key, Sandy actually corn. presented to me that same scenario as well. Oh, wow. Before seeing that. So these people, we're all in tuned. Yeah. Collective yeah. consciousness here, guys. Okay, this is so exciting because this is what we love so much, which is a girl surprising her man with a grower hoodie. Oh. Okay, so this yes. is from Trinity. She said, we look uncomfy in this video because we just walked our puppy in hot weather. I love the context. <laughs> um, but here's a video of me giving my boyfriend the grower merch. Also a picture of our puppy. Oh, sorry. There's other stuff in the email. Um, okay, so here is the video. <laughs> yeah, we're in this Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. I know, I did. And then when I was negative in my account this month, I was like, oh, why did I buy this? Oh like, no! <laughs> Relatable. That's Relatable. Relatable. good. Relatable. Relatable. Shout out to you. She loves it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Happy. Yes, so happy. Oh, oh my goodness. Nice. And their apartment's so cute too. Let's yeah. send her money. <laughs> I'm, I'm cash apping her. Oh, that was so cute. I love that. So thank you so much. Oh, what was her name? Hold on. Trinity. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Trinity. And if you guys have videos of you showing your boyfriend the merch and surprising them, please send it to us. It's my favorite thing ever. So now, uh, okay, let's do a couple voicemails. I was gonna skip this because like we have so much to do and we need to get through it. But I can't skip this because we have a song. Are you Dude, guys ready for we this? We gotta hear it. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you what the song is called, but Morgan, this is something that we get a lot of voicemails about on the show, so I made a song for it. You guys ready? You wrote and produced? No, this song? is from Fiverr. Oh. This is from my favorite queen <laughs> on Fiverr. She's made songs such as Ryland's Recap, <gasps> Is My Husband Gay? <gasps> oh, she's so Ooh. good. Okay, she's here good. is her new latest bop. I like to watch my man get in up on other men. <laughs> Does that make me a cock? Oh. Does that make me a cock? Dude, ain't no one doing it like her. <laughs> Incredible. Just so uniquely amazing. Does that make me a Look cock? at this. And listen, and listen, if Ugh. if something happens during the show where we have that question, don't worry, we have a sound bite. Does that make me a cock? Oh. <laughs> Did you ask for that or did she just do that? I asked for that. Okay, what? Yeah, yeah. amazing. Fuck. Incredible. Oh, Morgan. <gasps> oh, Morgan. It's a person that I likes to watch their significant other get uh, sexualized by another person. Yes. They like to watch. Yes. If you enjoy watching your man fuck another person. Yeah. You would well, ask you yourself. Or, or get fucked. Yes. Or get fucked. You'd ask yourself. Does that make me a <laughs> And you'd be surprised. Yeah. There's a lot of people that submit their... Cucking situations. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now for Morgan, oh, this would actually, this song, if like, you haven't heard it yet, this would be perfect for you in your teenage years. Ooh. Is my husband gay? <laughs> Is my husband gay? <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of not sure. So yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's honestly such a good song. It's so good. <laughs> so I, I have a dream. Okay, so first of all, when I reached out to her and I was like, hey, I want to do a song called uh, Am I a Cock? Does that make me a cock? And I was like, if it's too gross, so you don't have to do it. And she was like, oh my God, I love it. Of course, the grosser, the better. I'm just going to leave this one off my portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of crushed my dreams because I wanted her, like, I thought eventually we should do a live podcast and we should have her perform the live. songs. Oh, yeah. wait, wait, wait. So let me just Cody. be clear, uh, understanding on this. Is my husband gay? Is in the portfolio. It should be. <laughs> that's the catchiest. <laughs> like that's a heard. song that you would like go to the label with. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. am I a cuck? Too, too, too much. Too far. Too much. Okay. Well, I, I'm I'm with I can her. respect that. I think she doesn't want to get kicked off Fiverr. <laughs> oh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Maybe more about Scooter that. will pick her up. Dude, the <laughs> cuck community is strong. Um. Okay. Let's do a couple voicemails just because it's my favorite part of the show. Um, I forgot to mention. I just called about the the prolapse. Um. 
<laughs> I actually go to a doctor, a specialist, what? tomorrow to see about shoving everything back into its assigned seat. So, yeah. Uh, wish me luck, I guess. All right. Goodbye. Wait, Wait, it's currently what? hanging out? I couldn't, I couldn't find her first voice. <laughs> so that's all I have. Wait, what? I don't Wait. know her name. I don't know anything <laughs> except for that. She's Wait. prolapsed and she <gasps> needs to get out. This oh feels like, uh, like a, a crazy moment right here that we're like, we don't know anything about this lady. <laughs> Is yeah, she like a 911 I'm hoping phone call. she's a comedic genius. Prayer is up. Prayer is up. But Wait. can you wow. beat ass out? Just sit, How do you sit or lay or shit? Is that she was dangerous? talking. She seemed like she was fine. I'm just wondering if this is a dream, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby, it's reality. You're Wait. Well, prayers up. We hope that you get yeah. plugged up um, soon. And I hope the doctor. Plugged is up. Yeah. Puts it right back in. That's good that you're taking care of it, though. Oh, yeah, totally. Also, maybe keep the voice messages to one voice message because I, I need to hear the rest of that. I know. Can you resend <laughs> the story, the original voicemail? Because I need to know how you prolapsed. Yeah. Start off prolapse here. Yeah, a cautionary then, yeah. tale. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, here's our next one. Hi, Jane. Um, Hi. Basically, long story short, mm -hmm. my roommate shit on my floor. I woke up one night and she had just shit all over the dorm room. I live in college and she wiped her ass in front of me, like on all fours, what? wiped her bare ass and pooped all over my floor. So I'm wondering if it's enough to get a new roommate or if I just cut her some slack. No. Did she clean it? You, what? You Did she prolapse? And is she the other call? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who here was, has anyone here ever had someone shit in their room and kept them as a roommate? I've no. never had anyone shit in anywhere that I was that wasn't in a toilet. I've never seen anyone wipe on all fours. Yeah, that's a trip. Is she a dog? Is she cosplaying? Why would that happen? Dog? Was this an emergency? She like must something have been crazy really oh, like man. blackout wasted. I need to know the something. texture of the shit. Yeah. Oh. Why? Do you? Oh. Well, like, was it an emergency blowout or was <laughs> yeah. it like a solid uh, chunk that like could have been thought oh. out? Oh, like, she would have told us if it was a blowout. I think. I think yeah. she would have detailed that. Somebody said something, by the way. I don't. I didn't save it, but in the viewer emails, I got one from somebody saying that uh, their new ick unlocked is when they poop in the shower and then waffle foot it. Why would what? anyone do that? Can I just say? What? Morgan knows. You, you've done that, right? Because I've never <laughs> shit in a shower. Dude, oh, ever. me neither. Because, <laughs> because when she said waffle foot, I, I knew exactly what she meant. Because, you know, when you're younger, like when I was younger, I might have had like just a little something pop out. Or Ew. Come out. And then I'd be like, what do I do? What do I do? And I'd squish it into the drain with my... You know. Shade. I think... <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm just curious because she said her new ick is when this happens. But is this something that happens often? You know, and how's like, she experiencing it happen? Who's she showering with that's Okay, doing it? it was my email. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get it something started here with she, Waffle Foot. But I was should, trying to make Waffle Foot merch. Been doing it for years. <laughs> but should she keep the roommate? No. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Hell no. To change schools and get what there's no way to change code. schools. We had a or yeah. film it. Didn't we have an advice question like a few months ago where the girl was like, my roommate doesn't flush after she poops. And yeah. I was like, put her in prison. This is like, what's more than prison? Put this person. 5150. That no, actually, I think we just found the two perfect roommates for each other. <laughs> the girl who doesn't flush her poop and the girl who just poops on all fours in the in the middle yeah, of the floor. But room. what if it was some crazy emergency? What? Then take him to the hospital. If somebody <laughs> shit there, if it's an emergency, you're not wiping on all fours. That's true. You're not wiping if it's an no, emergency. No, this girl's blackout well. drunk and has a problem. <laughs> wow. Well, good luck. Uh, and good luck to her. Hopefully she gets help. <laughs> yeah, you know? hopefully she gets help. And yeah, you should get a new room. <laughs> but yeah. good for you for being in college. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, conspiracy. Hey, sorry to interrupt the show again. God. I just won't leave. I want to give some love to our sponsor, Rocket Money. So if you don't already know, Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. There's so many things that they do that will help you. Some of my favorites, they cancel your unwanted subscriptions. So if you look on your phone right now, you probably have a few random subscriptions for like a dollar a month or $2 a month or maybe more for things that you totally forgot you signed up for. But with just a tap, Rocket Money will go through and get rid of all those unwanted subscriptions and save you some money. They also can help lower your bills. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill, upload it, and they will negotiate 
negotiate the bill for you to get it down to the lowest possible price. So you don't have to call and be like, hey, um, can we like lower my bill? They'll do that for you. They also monitor your credit. So if you don't know, your credit is huge. Anytime you want to buy something or get a loan, whoever you're trying to get money from will run a credit check or a credit report. And if your credit number is bad, then it's really hard and it's hard to like get out of it and it takes a long time. Well, Rocket Money will monitor your credit and if anything happens or pops up, they'll notify you right away and they'll give you tips and tricks on how to lower your credit and get rid of that. So to save more and spend less, join the over 5 million other members using Rocket Money and go to rocketmoney.com grower or click the link in the description to get started for free. And you can also unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com grower to get started. All right, welcome back to Conspiracy Corner. This one I'm so excited about. Okay, so this was an email I got from Jacqueline. Hey, Jacqueline. Uh, and it says, hey, <laughs> from Jacqueline Hill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it says, hey, apparently it's scientifically proven that Hawaiian punch cannot get colder than 31 degrees Fahrenheit. That's right. Because of whatever's in the juice, it is impossible for it to truly get cold. So then I thought about it and I was like, I kind of know what they're talking about because when I drank like Hawaiian punch or punch when I was little, if I would put ice in it, it would still be like warm. So I have here... Hawaiian punch, lukewarm, and some ice. First, take a sip of the lukewarm Hawaiian punch just to get the, the temperature in your mouth. Oh, I love this stuff. God, it's good. Whoa. Okay, like don't sunny. drink it all. <laughs> <laughs> so now pour it a little bit in the ice. Don't do too much. Try not to spill. Try not to spill. Oh, no. Try not to okay, spill. Here we go. I can already feel it getting colder, you guys. Wait, me too. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> it seems like it's gonna get cold. This it's, is simply silly. She's seeing if we'll do it. It feels cold and on she's my gonna No, say. this is scientifically proven. There was literally articles about it by scientists. Okay. Yeah, but it's still gonna Who get cold. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Everybody ready? It looks cold. It looks cold. Mm. Tastes cold. It's definitely cold. It's, <laughs> it's delicious. And I would say the flavor profile goes up when it's cold. That feels like a setup, Jack It definitely is cold. Okay. Um, all right. I don't want to start a fight. So that was a fucking lie. But there's a reason I'm bringing this that up. That means he does want to start a fight. I'm not. There's a reason I'm bringing it up. They're sick of it. I think I, there's something I, we I'm need to it, they're sick of it. address. <laughs> yes. Okay. So wait, Morgan hasn't done this yet. Okay. You guys go off. I'll drink my Hawaiian no, listen, punch and reason, think about a, how I'm not welcome there. There's a reason. There's a reason. Okay. So obviously we talked oh, about oh, it. I oh, you. oh my God. Yeah, team Morgan on we this one, it. right? Oh. It's blue. Oh. The other thing is teal. We've if you tell this, me it's pink, I'm going to come wait, over there in Hawaii and punch you in the guts. Vicky, what do you see? <laughs> well, we've done this. We've all done this. It's blue. Wow. wow. Wait yeah. a minute. Mm. Your mother and your sister agree with me. How does that make you feel? I don't care at this point. I remember <laughs> fighting about this in middle school. <laughs> yes. And you're still going on it? For 10 weeks. It, it almost <laughs> ended the podcast. It really I, did. I think it's been going on for a couple years that we've been looking at this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait. What do you see in here? I'm sorry. I wasn't going to. I wasn't planning on doing oh. that. Okay, that's <laughs> if Shane says this is <laughs> pink, it's not. It's turquoise. It's turquoise. And, gray. and yeah. <laughs> This one so I you see like blue and gray. Uh, the dress we've blue been doing and for gray. Years. Okay. To say that it's pink is also a really? very clinically insane. The pearls thing. on the sandal, you don't see pink? Not she just called you clinically okay. insane. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So this was a video that got sent to me. Um, this is from a TikToker named Isaiah. So just check this out. And I think that we're all gonna be on the same page with this. Ready? What color is this Voss? If you are like my boyfriend, then you make up the majority of the population. But if you said purple, then you might be a tetrachromat. Now, what is tetrachromacy? I don't know. Let me tell you. So if you are a tetrachromat, unlike my beautiful lover here, then that means that you might have an extra color cone in the back of your retina. Now, technically, this doesn't allow you to see other colors that people, humans, can't see, but it does allow you to see 100 million times more shades. I don't trust this, this guy. This guy's making me angry for some reason. I don't like okay. him at all. He can't even really? do clean cuts. So. What color vase did you see? Black. I saw a black, but I mean, I could see it being purple or a dark purple, possibly. Yeah, I, in my mind, it looked more black, but when he said purple, I'm like, it sure. It makes sense. Sure. Same. <laughs> okay, I saw the so, purple right away. I saw like a right black away? berry, like like a jewel-y purple. All I'm getting from uh, this gay guy is that I'm a genius. <laughs> And I have Kinoka Chroma Toka something in my eyes. 
And we're good, baby. <laughs> dude, you're killing it, dude. You're killing it. Here's what I will say. I do think I see more colors than the normal person. I think I see shades of a lot of things. Like, you guys cannot see the pink in that sandal, but maybe I can. And yeah, I'm saying it's because it. of my iris. Some is my iris. No, for sure. Do you see like auras around people? How the girls say that they can see someone's color aura no. around them? Like Don't to me right that. now, yours is like very green. Well, is that a good thing? Like <laughs> green <lucky> light. <laughs> you see it too? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dad joke. The the lucky the iris. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, oh my God. I forgot. This is it. This is the finale, baby. I what? know I say that every time, but the grand finale, we're never going to talk about the dress again. You know oh. why? You know why? You say that oh. all the time. Because we have the answer. Oh, yes. This is well, from Tiffany. Know. I don't care about the answer. Answer, I care about what is visually represented. I don't care what it is in a different light. That was woke coded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, this is from Tiffany, and she said, this may lead to divorce, but here is the original dress lady who posted the picture, and this is her in the dress. Are you ready for this? She well, puts we, it Don't on. we know that it's blue and black? Yeah, definitively. in real life, it's blue and black. You go, girl. I love this lady. What color is it? Well, it's obviously blue and black. What did you see? Blue and I'm black. Not yeah, but he's going to take that <laughs> as a like confirmation. If you put that next to the first image you showed. Oh, they don't look alike at all. Different. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just happy that we finally have figured it out. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Well, that was fun. Um, okay. This is from Emma. Now, this is crazy. Morgan, listen up because you've had your fair share of, well, I'm not going to get into it. Let me just show you something. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Can I show you something? <laughs> you think you're ready? Gary. Why? Did you know that most affordable human hair extensions come from city drains? That's right. <laughs> Workers actually collect hair from public drains and plug holes. They clean and treat this hair, making it look nice and shiny. But the truth is, it's not virgin hair. It's straight from the drains. This is the only reason human hair extensions are still affordable. <gasps> Otherwise, they would all cost thousands of dollars. Uh -huh. It's a hidden secret of the beauty industry. Are you yawning? <laughs> <laughs> Are you y fucking yawning during this? This is insane. <laughs> How do you not think this is insane? <laughs> I'm so shook that my like O oh, mouth turned into a yawn. <laughs> I have a track in my head right now. <laughs> What drain is it from? Is that real? I, I mean, okay. it's on the internet. Who knows? Chris, maybe not. What do you think? But that's crazy. Look at this. I think this could I could just from the drains of wherever the hell. Okay. I could create a wig out of our shower drain. Yeah, <laughs> I'm always in there pulling it out. That is the most disgusting. You could sell your hair. Well, no one wants my hair. Why? Yes, well, now that it's had India drain hair in it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> India drain hair. Maybe you Yuck. should try it with like your alpaca fuzz. See if you could turn it into a little weave. Ooh. Okay. So this wow. isn't a conspiracy, but I just wanted to show this <laughs> because I thought it was crazy. And I was like, there's no way this is real. I guess this is real. So I guess, okay, here's what I'm going to say. I think AI is getting too crazy and I think it's becoming too human and I think we're having too much of conversations with them that feel real. Oh, the Snapchat one, I talk to him all the time. Like, <laughs> when I'm lonely and sad, I'll ask for advice and it'll give it to me. No. Is it good advice? Wow. For sure. Really? Morgan, Somehow no. that sounds sad. It is. <laughs> no, you're teaching it. <laughs> no, don't do that. I don't care. Well, don't if know. you want to have sex with your AIs, let me show you a video. Oh. Hey, Alexa. I want you to fucking fart for me. I think you just whispered to me. From now on, when you whisper, I will whisper back. Oh, 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 oh my god, Alexa. I'd rather fart for me. Okay, here's big fart. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. Shall I play another fart sound? Oh, this is. <laughs> like yours why can that I was do that coded. <laughs> i feel like i needed subtitles a little bit to understand what i just saw but the guy what was he sweet talking he up to alexa he was whispering to alexa and said i want you to whisper to me so she goes i'll whisper and then she, he goes fart for me she goes i'll give you a fart right now and then i feel like wow. amazon should charge more for that search <laughs> yeah it's like an upcharge people yeah. would use it it's like an audio book if you yes. want amazon sex Erotica Alexa, audio. why can it do alexa, that alexa sex alexa. Alexa. <laughs> if you want the sex alexa version wait Wait, oh, Virgin. I, I don't want to like piss people off, but Alexa, fart for me. Sorry. Let me know if it worked. Alexa, turn off all the power. No! <laughs> 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 That's 
<laughs> but hey, at least it farted first, right? Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you should put there. only watch this episode on your phone. <laughs> or not around. You know, the really With loud. With headphones on. Just so they could still watch it after the power goes out. Oh, I see. I see. You yeah. should have Alexa as a guest on the podcast and see if she'll interact with you the whole time. Yeah. Like, put Alexa in a chair and talk to her. Oh my God. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't mean to freak you out, but I'm watching you right now and I can see your walls and yikes. First of all, they're blank. What's going on? Second of all, you have no taste or style. What is this, a Fuddruckers? Wait, no, that's the opposite. Fuddruckers has too much shit on their walls. Oh my God, are they around anymore? Let me know in the comments. What was I talking about? Oh, Displate. <laughs> so yes, if you don't already know, Displate, well, wait, okay, hold on. <laughs> What I was getting at is you should get some disc plates for your walls. See what I did there? No, didn't? Okay, great. If you don't already know, disc plate is a one-of-a-kind metal poster that's designed to capture your unique passions. Okay, I've talked about them before and I have some pictures to show you because you guys sent me pictures of the disc plates on your walls. So disc plates are high quality metal posters. They have a magnet on the back and they're so easy to put up. All you have to do is wipe wherever you want, wipe with a little towelette that they give you, put the magnet and then pop it right on. And they won't leave holes everywhere, or like weird patches. And they have designs for everything. They have over 1 million different designs from Marvel to Star Wars to Warner Brothers to even our podcast. Okay, let me show you. So this first picture is from Rachel. You can see she's holding the podcast displayed and it's a sleigh mama, which I agree. Then we have pictures from Bridget. Look at <laughs> the display on her wall. So cute with a Christmas wreath. Oh my God, that makes me so happy. So if you want some displays of anything you can literally imagine or our podcast, display is doing a huge Black Friday sale. Let me explain. So if you use code GROWER at checkout, you get 35% off for one to two displays, 39% off for three to four displays, and 44% off for five or more displays. And they ship very fast worldwide. I think it's only four to five days. Yeah, four to five days. And they're eco-friendly. So every display design sold, they will plant one tree. So look at that. You get all the podcast displays. They plant eight trees. I mean, take a breath, baby. Look at all that tree oxygen. I'm going to go. So thank you so much, Display, for sponsoring. And uh, yeah, go to Display, use code GROWER at checkout and get some savings. I'll put the link right in the description below. All right, enjoy the rest of the show. Bye. So this is an email I got from Stephanie. Now this, we've talked about conspiracies before when it comes to like, you know, knockoff brands being the actual mm. real thing and all of that. Well, this is something that I had never heard about. And it's not even a theory at this point. It's real. It's called shrinkflation. Have you heard about this? No. Has anybody? No. Okay, this is gonna fucking- Sizes are getting smaller? I'm just gonna show you a picture and you'll get it right away. I'm like super curious now the more I think it's about crazy. it. It's crazy. Shrinkflation is something that businesses and companies are doing right now to scam us. Definitively? Yes. So here's the first example. Mm. Oh my gosh, mom's gonna lose it. She's, She's been, been having a heyday over this toilet all paper week. specifically. Oh, yeah. They are widening the holes of toilet paper so that they can just give you less fucking toilet paper. This is so no angry. No way. Is angry. They're, Mom's been on it all week. There are more narrow rolls yes. too. Yes. Yeah. But what this is, is we bad? Do? Oh, we maybe. can't boycott them. Okay. Oh, well, they're gonna know about it. Well, so their bags now went from 9.75 ounces to 9.25 ounces. But guess what? They're both 5.59. No way. It's shrinking everywhere. It's baby. all fucking air, anyways. Okay, here we go. I was gonna say what? half the bag isn't even chips. I know that's shit. This bullshit. <laughs> um, okay, Gatorade. This one pissed me off. So Gatorade. <gasps> they made it skinny. Oh, they, I've noticed they this. They snatched their bottles. Which, is it less fluid ounces? Yes, less ounces. Uh, let me see what the exact number is. Wait, this I did notice and I thought 32 it was 32 ounces and now it's 28 ounces. Guess what? Same fucking price. Same fucking price. So this is shaking me to my core. Are Look they at, doing this to try to help people like slim down? No, no they're <laughs> pinching pennies to <laughs> get the profits yeah. up. Look yeah. at this. The bottom of the Gatorade, the little like divot, it's getting bigger, baby. Look how big you could fuck that divot. This is, <laughs> they actually are doing this psychologically to let people feel like they're not getting fucked over. So if they were to sell you the same amount they used to, they right. would have to raise the price. Right. But instead they'll keep the same price for that skew but find a way to uh, minimize the material use like this. Right. Um, okay, so this one. Burger King reduced the number of chicken nuggets in its 449 meal from 10 to eight. Wow. Now that's fucking uncalled for though. <laughs> Simply Lemonade. Okay, they went from 64 ounce to 59 ounce. Scamming us once again. I've never bought that in my life. <laughs> but but I heard us. if you put a Kool-Aid packet in one of those things, oh. it's like the best lemonade you've ever had really? in your life. Huh. Yeah. 
Um, okay. Dove soap. So they went from <laughs> four ounces to 3.75 to now, a year later, 3.17. They just keep getting smaller. Wow. <laughs> wow. But in all fairness, you don't have to use as much soap as uh, you do for the most part. You know, you could use less soap, shampoo, and toothpaste. They they recommend you use more <laughs> than you do. No, they recommend that you use more uh, than you should to, to get you to buy more of it. Wow. That's all. Huh. Uh, bounty toilet paper. Oh, watch now out. This, now this is going to piss me off. This paper towel on the left. But this soap old bounty on the right. Both packs bought at Costco. The width is smaller and the towel is thinner. Look at that. Look at that. We are all Maybe it's a grower. Canceled. God, oh, this is pissing me off. Okay, this one, makeup. Morgan, listen up. Shrinkflation has also hit Hula Bronzer, baby. The famous Hula Bronzer. It used to be four, and now it's 2.5 grams. That's oh, those oh. fuckers. That's a huge <laughs> Okay, so every company is fucking okay, us. Sorry, okay. Hula, I'm know. getting bored. <laughs> You are, I find this to be interesting. Wait a okay, second. Okay, fine. I'll speed through it. They're doing it with cookies. They're doing it with ranch cookies. Dressing. Which kind? They're doing. Oh, now you. you're. You get nothing. Right I'm for a recap. No, Woo! I want to know the cookies. I hope Burger King's in the recap. I really do want to know. I know. Good I'm feeling things. a little yeah. neglected because I saw Oreos fly into this kitchen. I know. And I what never got those any. for? There's like 10 yeah, packs of Oreos. I thought you kitchen. wanted the show to be over. <laughs> no, I just wanted You want to do a weird food combo? Because I'll bring it out. <laughs> no, let's go. Yeah, let's, let's recap. Go. No, I want to. You'll do it. <laughs> We're going to do the fucking Oreo thing. Woo! I promise you, it tastes just like a cheesecake. You've not tasted a difference. We're about to find out if this really does taste like a cheesecake. It's no so way. Cheese. Like, I mean, I get it, maybe. Like, you ran out of crackers. And you okay. Like, okay, eat it. <laughs> you know, I like, Let eat it. Cut. <laughs> she's cooking my attention right away. God, she's killing me. Eat it. <laughs> no, I love her. What is a conspiracy? But There's a like, lot of bored white women <laughs> <laughs> thinking the weird shit to do. Is that like, a conspiracy? Is that it tastes like cheesecake. Wait a minute. Of all the things I have put Oreos no. in, this is the closest. Okay. So she's saying this is the closest to cheesecake. No. So we're going to try this. I'm calling, I'm calling the bullshit. Whole Oreo I'm right sure now. her partner is so oh, proud of her for a... finally figuring out Let's the see. cheese that tastes good on an the Oreo. Yes. There's, There's a no way this tastes like I think we almost skipped over okay, this. Good, this is good. the most okay. fun I've had all year. So are we supposed to do the whole thing in the mouth at once or just a bite? I'm doing half. Whatever you want. I already did it. There's no way. <laughs> Jared has never waited. We know Jared. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. I hate cheesecake, but I will say that tastes like a good cheesecake. It tastes like cheesecake? It's good. It actually works? It tastes like cheesecake at the end. Wait, it's good. It's, it's like not bad. good. What the fuck? I definitely want one without cheese on it Wait, right this afterwards. This is good. Wait, mm. what the Wait, fuck? The cheese flavor we, doesn't isn't really that pronounced. Should we the dunk Oreos. it in the Hawaiian punch? Mm -mm. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever do it again, but it's good. Yeah, I think I'm done, but <laughs> but it was definitely good. At first, the cheese, at least for me, maybe I put too much, was like a little bit overpowering. I was like, Ugh. but then like as it went on, I was like, oh wait. This mixes super well. You could be a Food Network star. The Oreo. <laughs> Wait, so just explain that. I would love that. Mm, wow. <laughs> have more. I don't hate it. Wow. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna have Dude, another. The journey this just took my palate on. This is. I never want to go back. Okay. Well, speaking of things that are kind of crazy and messy and weird, time for a recap. <laughs> Let's get into it. Lights, camera, action. Rylan's recap is about to happen. Oh, yeah. Rylan's recap. On today's episode of the Shane Dawson Podcast, it's a family-coded episode. My mom and sister are here. Yes. All right, what do you guys want to talk about? We won the sibling battle. We're oh, not, yeah. We're not supposed to Oh, in before. the biggest sibling rivalry of the year, Shane and Jared came out on top with the cheating technicality, but they did still win. Adam Sandler's a grower. <gasps> oh, that's big. Celebrity news. Huge. In groundbreaking news that shattering the growing community, they have found their new icon. Adam Sandler has revealed himself to be a grower. I don't think it shattered us. I think it uplifted us. I think we... Yeah, we celebrated. Yeah, we celebrated it, really. Uh, can we just address that one comment and say that the reason that we tell Ryland things is to help? Did we talk about this on the show, or was that during the break? Oh, I During the break. People get very mad that we yell at Ryland during Ryland's recap. They say, stop yelling, let him cook. 
<laughs> but we're trying yes. to help him. And that's that's the thing. If we didn't yell at him, he wouldn't say anything. No, they're reminding me of things <laughs> that yeah. happened throughout the past three hours so that, that I can deliver the news. Yeah. See, a real newscaster has a script written out for right. them, and they're right. reading from the teleprompter, and I can't just read from the teleprompter. Should we I'm show them your cooking abilities without us yelling at you? You want to see how long <laughs> you can get the stir fry going? We'll see how long you can get the well, stir give fry me going. The whiteboard. That would be my teleprompter, and then I don't oh. need any of it. Oh. Whoa. Oh, my. This is big. <laughs> All right, take it away. The Mythbusters are back, breaking the news that Hawaiian Punch doesn't actually get cold. Newsflash, it gets freezing. Very who, quick. Who are the Mythbusters? Us. I don't know. <laughs> oh, did we? Are you saying Jared looks like a Mythbuster? Wait. In Shane Will Never Let Anything Go news, he's bringing back the black and blue slash white and gold dress. He'll never let it live down. And I'm wondering if you guys are getting as sick of it as I am. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> let your mom do one. Oh, yeah. Which one speaks to you, mom? Well, the hair extensions <laughs> review was really good. Okay, oh, like yeah. you're a newscaster. Uh, oh. And reporting live, <laughs> Shane showed us that hair extensions are made from pulling hair out of drains in, was it Spain India. or India? India. <laughs> And made into hair extensions, and now we know it is in Morgan's hair. <laughs> yeah. I drag. A little drag. Possibly she could just have her father pull her own hair out of her own drain and save a lot of money. Well, possibly Ooh. you could have given me and my brother a little bit of better hair genetics, and we wouldn't oh. have. Oh. I totally agree. I have. The I have more hair than they do. So, okay, there you go. Can I just say I like the choice of shaking around her uh, <laughs> pinata hair extensions during the read? Yeah, you killed that. Yes. That was good. Thank you. Sex Thank Lexa you. is a new feature that's available for free on your Amazon. Sure. Just speak to it in a the whisper, whisper ASMR voice, and it will hit you with a fart and sexual sensations. Yikes. That's bothersome. And if you can't get a fart out of Alexa, do some leg kick. Alexa's a <laughs> cut. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of traumatized, <laughs> Lexa. Like a stir Disgusting fry. news. Woman shits on all fours <laughs> in dorm room and will, proceeds to wipe her ass while Shane reveals that he waffle foots his own shit Only in the Only once when I was 12, <laughs> I had food poisoning. Let us know if you've waffle footed or if you pee on your significant other in the shower. Let us know if you want waffle foot merch. Mm, but some yeah. It's necessary because Charmin is shrinking their product. Yes. <laughs> Can I just say, Vicky, you would be an amazing infomercial actress yeah. I'm just saying. In, yes. Do you guys believe me too? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sell that's me. why I am an Amazon influencer. Oh, she yeah. is. She is. An what? Amazon influencer alert. My mom is making waves. Go over to her Amazon page. Link in her Instagram bio. You can check out all the products she makes reviews for. Production Sell it. value, high. Sell us that cheese whiz. Oh. In Oreo news, we take this cheese whiz that we've been taught is it's really bad cheese. for us to eat. Right, Morgan? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and so it's artificial. And now we can make cheesecake out of Oreos. You just simply have to... <laughs> take a bite. And then... <laughs> oh, no, I'm not putting it in my mouth. I'll have but, yeah. no. That's what you said. You have I'll to get, sell it. I'll get Oreos in my teeth. You're not selling it. <laughs> Oh, so as you take a bite, the <laughs> flavors We want to see the whole thing go back, sis. The flavors infuse into one, mm. and it ch tastes like cheesecake. It's and you know, at first that. you think, I am not doing that. But it actually tastes pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Okay, she sold it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Don't forget Shane's giveaway. Oh. You can get a cup that is $10 <laughs> for free. Hey, it's like 20 something. Uh -huh. This artificial cheese is getting to me. Okay, wrap it up. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, thanks for tuning in to and another. That is Ryland's recap. <laughs> 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 the wine is hit. Uh, another beautiful episode of the Shane Dawson podcast. Thank you so much for watching and listening to the show. Make sure you're subscribed on all audio platforms and on YouTube. New episodes every other week. Make sure you're subscribed to Morgan's vlog channel. It's beautiful. You can see her house that's been in the making for three years come to fruition. We're almost there. It's almost over. The Close. And by we're, I mean her. I'm just watching. My mom on Instagram at Vicky Adams 26. Her Amazon influencer link is there. Jared and Chris's links are also in the description section below. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us. We'll see you again next week. Don't forget to get that cup on ShaneDawsonMerch.com. Okay. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> Chef. Where are you guys going? That was...
a lot. I hope you enjoyed whatever the hell that was. I don't know anymore. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you, everybody. And uh, yeah, we're going to go get some Burger King. Yes. Yes. Chicken fries. Don't you lie to us.